Well, accident after accident, and now transportation experts plan to take a closer look at a road many of us travel on every day, the Jones Falls Expressway. WJZ is live. Devin Barlotta is along the JFX with what engineers hope to find out. Devin? Denise, well, the winding nature of 83 certainly doesn't help with this problem, but now the city is enlisting some help to figure out why so many crashes happen on this roadway. Stretch for miles, crash after crash on Baltimore's I-83. More than 260 collisions on the expressway every year. It's making me shake out right now because yeah. this is crazy. Hope Burley is thankful to be alive. After her terrifying ordeal on 83 last year. My car spun, hydroplane turned around on me, and um, I was facing oncoming traffic. In 2011, a crash on 83 sent Baltimore police officer Teresa Rigby plunging over the side of the interstate. She survived, but serious crashes in that area are anything but uncommon. There may be uh, innovative sign treatments, markings treatments. Baltimore's transportation officials hope a new $65,000 study will help pinpoint what's causing the high number of crashes on an expressway that serves more than 100,000 cars and trucks every day. The speed limit on most of 83 is below 60 miles per hour because of its design, but that doesn't always slow drivers down. Well, we're looking at the whole stretch, but the, the area that seems to be of most interest is the area between Cold Spring Lane and 28th Street. That's this two-mile stretch near the Pepsi sign where the curves are the sharpest and most crashes happen. It's so smooth going down 83, so it's just like, all right, I'm cruising. But no, them curves hit you and they hit you fast. Now she's taking it slow along a dangerous stretch of road that's now getting a closer look. Now, there's no word yet on when this study might be complete, but transportation officials say they already know that this issue has a lot to do with people speeding and driving distracted during rush hour. Back to you. All right, thank you very much, Devin. Now, just last night, Baltimore City Council adopted a resolution asking state police to patrol parts of I-83 into the city to allow city police to spend more time in neighborhoods.